Hi everyone, it's Rena. So this video is for those people who are Pisces, sun or moon, I'm going to say that up front, involved with somebody or interested in somebody who has the sun or moon in Libra. And I'm including the moon signs because I think sometimes they can be quite similar to the sun in terms of how the person behaves or their um, attitudes in life. And I'm recording this outside, so there will be environmental noises, hopefully not much more than uh, the occasional plane or bird. Libra and Pisces form what is known as an inconjunction, which is considered an awkward angle of 150 degrees apart. Whenever you get two planets or two signs, you know, obviously the planets are in particular signs, but you get these two entities that are 150 degrees apart. And we're in this case, we're talking about sun-moon combinations or just two suns or two moons. You're going to have a situation where it's considered really kind of weird, like they are such a mi mismatch. However, I have been noting uh, just privately and also on some of my videos that I can see some of these areas where where two people may have things in common even though they have this particular angle this in conjunction and this is the you know the I don't know if you want to call it a theory or the whole concept behind this has to do at least in part with the elements so the elements are very disparate and that means that they're very, um, they're totally like uh, different from one another. So they claim there's no common ground. However, I don't um, buy that because I was able to compile a list here. And, um, you know, there's a lot of adjustment that has to be made when you have two signs like this but it doesn't mean that's impossible. Now, I'm going to start talking about the things that the two individuals may have in common, and I am um, doing this video from the perspective of you being a Libra and dealing with somebody, I mean, a, a Pisces dealing with a Libra. I'm going to be doing the flip side of this uh, and I will be looking at how the, the Libra person sees the uh, Pisces individual. So it's not, I'm not picking on anybody. That's what I'm trying to say. So one thing that I feel that these two signs have in common is that they're both agreeable and kind. Libra and Pisces are both signs that want to be nice to other people. They want um, there to be harmony. They don't want hurt feelings. That's the last thing that they want. Doesn't mean that it doesn't happen though. That's the important th takeaway is that even if you try not to hurt somebody, um, it's just a fact of life that sometimes people will feel that way regardless. Um, but in the case of these two people, they, they're both on the same page with that. And that can lead to people who appreciate one another for that quality um, which sometimes is not necessarily that uh, commonplace, you know. There's a lot of vitriol out here. There's a lot of um, controversy and intolerance, and these are two signs that want to bridge the gap when it comes to these things. Another thing that these two signs have in common is a love of people. Air signs... Libra, Gemini, Aquarius are natural people, people. <laughs> I, I haven't been able to think of another term. Well, I could say social, butterflies, sociable, liking that kind of thing. Pisces, do I think Pisces are? Yes, I do in general. All water signs I feel are. However, if I had to say the difference is that Pisces may gravitate towards people they've known a long time. Um, their inner circle, you know, water signs tend to be more insular because they're coming from a subjective viewpoint. Um, their feminine signs, you know, the feminine goes within, the masculine goes without. 
So Libra is a masculine sign, being an air sign. So, I mean, I didn't put that down as a possible clash, but, you know, I will mention that right now. And that doesn't mean that there will literally be a clash because you have to look at other factors. Maybe the Pisces, if you're a Pisces listening, maybe you have the moon in Leo or Aries or Sagittarius and you're very extroverted or rising sign or Mars in a, in a fiery placement and, or even air sign, you know, and you just tend to want that uh, for yourself. And that's where you and this, and the Libra person really hit it off because you're both on the same page. And, you know, ironically, you could be with somebody who is on paper more compatible with you, like, let's say a cancer or a Taurus person, and you could be frustrated that they are su such homebodies when you want to get out there and mingle. Another thing that the two of you will have in common is being romantic. Libra is ruled by Venus. You're ruled by Neptune, and the you know Neptune is very idealistic and dreamy and otherworldly and creative and you and. Uh, Libra or Venus, the planet Venus for Libra is, you know, that's self-explanatory. It's definitely going to have that romantic uh, connection. And so both of you may enjoy poetry and all of the, if you're dealing with that courting stage, if you actually go through, maybe you actually have a courting stage where you are enjoying the process of, um, falling in love rather than cutting to the chase or something like that. And that can be um, very fulfilling to a Pisces person because that may not, again, you know, not to pick on Taurus or uh, Virgo or something like that, but that might not be something that they indulge in. And um, it can feel like there's somebody who gets why that is important to you and is willing to um, give you that that experience and really mean it, you know, that, that that's important to them as well. And another thing that you have in common is that you both love creativity. Pisces, whether either of you are artists is a different story, although I would put my money on a Pisces person for sure. Libra can be either an artist themselves or they can have an appreciation for the arts they can be the kind of person that loves to go to galleries and be supportive of artists and so this is an important thing I'm being a creative person myself I often talk about creativity and I think a lot of times other um, people doing this type of work don't necessarily focus on that and the reason I do is because there is such a um, tendency to overlook it as a legitimate path. If a Pisces person has this desire to um, try to really make it as an artist, or if they're doing it currently, and maybe they're not um, as successful as most people, their, whatever their criteria are, for, for being a su successful artist, the Libra person is more likely than not to champion you and support you in this because they believe that art is beauty and that beauty is important in life. And so they will um, validate you, not that you need validation, but they're not, certainly not going to challenge you. Now, of course, this is a blanket statement and mileage may vary, but I mean, in, this is the, the makeup of Libra is to be encouraging in this regard, more than discouraging. And um, so in talking about what might be the challenges, I want to bring up something right away that occurred to me when I was um, just saying this last piece. And that is that um, the other thing besides being a um, an artist that a Pisces person may gravitate towards at some point in their life is a healer or, uh, you know, a psychic or something along those lines. And that may be where the Libra person can't uh, 
go along with the program because Libra is an air sign and air signs tend to believe that the mind can solve all their problems. Whereas if you ever listen to somebody like Eckhart Tolle, who by the way is on the cusp with um, Pisces, I think his birthday is around um, uh, February 17th or so. So he's right on the cusp and you know maybe technically he's an Aquarius. But ironically, he talks about transcending the mind and how the mind can create these, this prison uh, due to expectations and false beliefs and things like that. So um, the point being that the Libra person may feel that if you're interested into, maybe you're not doing it for a living, maybe you're just on the spiritual path, that there, that, that is something that is... Um, superstition, it's ignorant, it's uneducated, whatever you want to call it, because they are an air sign and they tend to want um, things that are validated by the world, um, academic, academically val- validated. Um, what's the other term I could use? Just things that are more analytical, linear, intellectual than the intuition. They may not value it. They may even be atheists. Not to say all Libras. Okay, obviously, that goes without saying. But just that could be one of the air, the bones of contention in the relationship. Another thing is because you're both adverse to conflict, there are a couple things that can happen. First of all, everyone, and also you know, inclu- including your own anger issues. Everyone gets angry in their own way. Some people don't like to express it because they don't want disharmony. But that doesn't mean that the anger just magically dissipates. It just is unspoken. And and the thing is that if you have two people who have a tendency to do that, this, it can lead to um, a lot of resentments that build up in the relationship and they have to come out some way. Um, I find that Libra and Pisces people both tend to be passive aggressive and passive aggression is when you have a hard time directly expressing anger. I'm not talking about screaming and yelling. I'm talking about just saying I'm really angry that blah, 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 and saying it very calmly. Um, and that you're able to express displeasure with another person when people are afraid to do that and also to hear that, that anger has to come out and it comes out indirectly. And not only is that not an effective way to deal with anger, it can be very um, childish, um, petty, like, you know, nagging each other because you're really mad about other things and just picking at little things because there's a big thing that you're really mad about but you dare not say it and that sort of thing and so you could be passive aggressive to one another and that could lead to a really strained relationship and not dealing with the problems not airing them out um i mentioned that libra is detached this can play out in a number of ways libra may not appreciate your emotional nature Pisces t- tend to be, I, I don't know if I'd say that you're moody the way Cancer is moody or brooding the way that Scorpio can be brooding, but you are um, very influenced by the ebbs, the uh, the tides, you know, whatever is in your immediate environment. And just by th- that very nature, you can have different moods. And the Libra person is going to tend to be, you know, a little bit maybe too detached. Let me see what I put here. Coming from the intellect I wrote. And maybe um, disengaged from their own emotions and therefore unable to really empathize with you. And you may feel unheard. You may feel un cared for at times, even if they're saying I love you and and writing poems about you. So 
the loving styles. I think this is something with air signs and water signs. Uh, Libra might be afraid of your intense emotional nature. Now, again, when I say intensity, I'm not talking about like Scorpio. I'm talking about just um, being overwhelmed sometimes with emotion. Maybe even it's a positive emotion like um, this ecstatic feeling. But it's something that Libra may not have within themselves and it may feel uncomfortable awkward to them and they don't know how to deal with it Libra may have trouble deciding and indecision can also plague uh, Pisces but in terms of how it affects you their indecision if they want to commit maybe they care for you but they're not sure that you're the one you know, and even if you guys get along famously, Libra can look at all sides of an issue, and that might feel maddening to you that they just keep um, twisting in the wind. So definitely there are some things that you may have in common uh, that can be enough to, you know, glue to keep you together, and don't forget about other influences, but I just wanted to bring these up for you to think about because they may be something that you're dealing with if you're already in a relationship with them and I want you to know that you have the right to feel the way that you do okay I hope that you enjoyed this Pisces if you would like a private reading the link is below take care bye